Hey guys, how's it going? Hope things are good with you. So I'm going to talk to you about the effects or the affliction of Amma Vasa during birth. Okay. Uh, now, a caveat here, a message of warning. This Amma Vasa birth has led into many uh, problems or you know, it has been exploited by some astrologers out there because this creates a lot of... It, because since it's shrouded by... Uh, superstition, right? The birth of Amawasha. There's just so many things out there, so many, you know, junk out there about when a person is born uh, on Amawasha. Some say that the husband will die, so the spouse will run away, or, you know, the life will be shortened, you know, what not, you know, all these um, false um, ideas which has been propagated. As such, it has created um, a sort of exploitative avenue for an astrologer. So, be cautious with this bogus astrologer out there who's making, who's basically reaping the money out of their clients, uh, if especially if you're born on a mawasha. So let me just explain to you what are the things, at least from my perspective, or what are the things uh, that happens or could happen uh, during a mawasha. Now again, it depends on your chart. This YouTube video is very general, okay? It still depends to your chart. There's a plethora of things that we need to check, okay? So first thing is first. Uh, esoterically, the sun is brilliance, radiance, knowledge, the knowledge of truth, right? So when there is no light being illuminated, the, the, the new moon, the Amavasha, is just black, it's just nothing. That's because basically the sun's ray has eclipsed the moon, right? As such, it is just, it's, it's all black. As such, I mean, metaphoric, metaphorically speaking, there is devoid of knowledge. So a person is known to be uh, weak, lethargic, you know, doesn't have the right knowledge, right? Uh, probably a person who is uh, dull, um, has, uh, you know, envy, hatred, lust, uh, gambling tendencies and whatnot, okay? General, generally speaking, okay? Now, um, when you talk about astrology, right, what are the effects is? Now, number one is because Amavasha is, has, um, is the reason of two grahas, the sun and the moon, obviously, right? So any uh, association with the sun and moon is going to have problems, okay? Say if you have the first lord in together with the moon, for example, if they are conjun co in conjunction, right? And anything that which has to do with the first house, like, of course, first house, as you know, is uh, reputation, name, fame, um, you know, one's uh, health, uh, individuality, and all that is the first house, right? Will be affected or it will be difficult to attain such things. So health will be a concern. Uh, your reputation will be easily tarnished, right? No matter how good you are, how respectable you are, it's easy to tarnish one's name because it's associated with the moon or the sun, all right? Now, the, the, there's, there's a Puranic story behind this. If you want, I don't want to talk about it, but if you're interested, you can do a search on uh, Soma and Brihaspati. There's a story behind this Amavasha. But of course, these stories uh, reveals a lot of things. But anyway, putting that aside, um, the key thing here is that Jupiter is affected during Amawasha. Okay, Jupiter is truly unhappy during Amawasha. So it, it doesn't give the person, and you know Jupiter is what? Jupiter is all about luck, graces, expansion, prosperity, positivity, you know, things that is, which is good. Okay, uh, and it's the benefit of the benefit in a chart. Right? So it's a very important graha. Since that importance is removed due to the fact that it's Amawasha, then a person is devoid out of luck. A person would not receive the graces of Jupiter. Okay, So as I said, number one is any uh, grahas or any lordships which are together with the sun and moon. As I give the example just now, if you have the first um, a lord together with the sun or the moon, and then the first, uh, the karakas of the first uh, will be affected, which is, uh, which are, um, you know, your health, individuality, uh, reputation, and all that. Now, since I also mentioned Jupiter is unhappy, um, so all the effects of Jupiter will be also uh, uh, problematic for a person, which are number one is, as you know, Jupiter's drishti is the fifth, seven, and nine, right? The fifth is the putra or the children, <coughs> or the progeny. That's going to be a concern in a person's life. Okay, that would be a problem. 
Seventh is, of course, Kalatra partnership, marriage and all that. The ninth is the house of uh, um, luck and happiness, you know, Bhagyasthanam. Uh, that's fortune, put it that way. That's going to be a problem as well. So, so how many things are we talking about here? Number one, we have the fifth house, which will should be affected, which is the children's and uh, formal education and things like that. The seventh is partnership. The ninth <coughs> is the house of uh, fortune and all that. Uh, now, Jupiter also rules the second and the eleventh. Right? He owns second and the eleventh. The second house of savings. The eleventh is the house of gains. So that's going to be a problem as well. So, so you have the second house, fifth house, seventh house, ninth house, and eleventh house. Pretty much half of the child is gone. There is no, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, potency. You know, there's no positive potency over these uh, uh, houses because they are um, connected with Jupiter. Okay, that, that's uh, that's one thing, and I also mentioned the lordships which are associated with the sun and the moon. Okay, pretty much the entire chart is gone at this point of time, right? So, which is why Amma was as deem deemed as something which is unlucky. A person needs to really struggle in life in order for him or her to achieve. All right, now again, uh, guys, this is um, cursory, you know, it's very cursory, it is not specific to your charts, however. As an astrologer who have been doing this for years, I've seen Amavasa birth, uh, and also the um, uh, Chaturdasi, the fourteenth day of the Krishna Paksha, which is called uh, as the uh, Naraga Paksha. Naraga means hell. It's, a, it's another uh, malefic house, uh, malefic Didi, the fourteenth uh, day, and of course the next day onwards is going to be Amavasa, right? So fourteenth and Amavasa is. Uh, uh, in, in somewhat the pratipat or the first day is also considered as uh, inauspicious in astrology. So as you can see, it creates all this, uh, it devoids luck, right? So you, a person needs to struggle. You know, it doesn't mean that he or she would not be successful, okay? The last thing is, or it's not even lasting, this thing is not going to happen. The, you know, no spouse is going to die or your life will be shortened or your child will mistreat you, all these things are rubbish, okay, there's no such thing, it's depending on your charts, it's, it's truly dependent to your charts, however, my point is, since the rays of sun is being, um, uh, uh, you know, it's been um, concealed, right, as such, the moon, or, or the metaphor here is the mind, right, would not receive or would not have the, um, the capacity to focus on what's right and what's wrong. As such, these people tend to make many mistakes along the way. And as you keep doing these mistakes, your life will become uh, that much lesser interesting. You get very, uh, you know, least enthusiastic about life. You know, you're, you're, you won't be expressive in life. Right? Naturally, Amawasha. Okay? Again, it still depends to a person's charts. There's so many other things to look at. So this is what I think uh, would naturally happen. Of course, Vedic astrology is a tool, okay? Uh, there's always corrective measures. You know, anyone can be successful regardless of their choices, uh, the, the, ch the states uh, in their charts, regardless of it. Performing the right remedies would certainly um, elevate any, any problems uh, in a person's charts. Okay, so this is what I feel about birth in Amavasha uh, and... Um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.